Welcome to Analytica Video Shorts, short videos showcasing individual topics in Analytica 5. Your host today, Lonnie Chrisman. To celebrate Pi Day, this is my second Analytica Video Short today, and there's one more after this. In the first one, I showed you how to draw the wedges of this pie chart, and in this video, I'm going to add text to it. In the final video, after this one, I'll make it interactive. In this image, I'm depicting the total U.S. power generation for 2017 by energy source type. The big blue wedge is natural gas, followed by coal in green and nuclear in purple. So what should the text be for each wedge? I'll compute the text to show in a variable named label text. I show the energy source name followed in parentheses by the percent share formatted as a percent up to one digit after the decimal. And for the font, I'll make it bold and in the same color as the wedge. Now I want to draw that text around the outside of the pie. Back to the definition that does the drawing. I'm going to insert a call to canvas draw text here. The hardest part will be figuring out where to draw it, specified in the X and Y parameters. I'll come back to that in a moment. With the horizontal and vertical alignment parameters, I can center the text at the XY point. That XY point will end up being in the direction of the wedge angle. So now, back to the X and Y positions. For X, left margin plus radius puts me at the X coordinate of the circle center, just as top margin plus radius does for Y. Let's see that. Right now, the labels are all drawn overlapping at the center. Okay, now I'll go from the center outward by the radius plus a little. Multiply by the cosine to locate it in the wedge angle direction and do the same for y times the sine of the wedge angle. Okay, text is now centered on a concentric circle slightly larger than the pi itself. That's getting close. But the selected wedge needs to come out a little more. I can do that by adding the wedge offset to that distance. Okay, now I like the horizontal placement of hydro and wind, but natural gas and coal seem like they're a little farther away than they need to be. Since the text labels are shorter than they are wide, I'm going to reduce the vertical distance a little. Good, this is the drawing I'm aiming for. I'll change the selected source type to make sure it still looks good. Yeah, looks good. In the third and final Analytica video short in this series, I'll make the picture respond to a mouse click as a way to select the energy source. Be sure to catch the other episodes in this Pi Day series. That's all for this one. Thanks for watching and have a happy Pi Day.